actually a pretty warm day today. Um, it's probably like 35, 40. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is what we're looking at. I think what I'm going to do is, so this panel is not, the taillight panel is not mounted in there yet. It's just kind of pressed in. Um, and then obviously this top piece is not on there. So what's going to happen today is take this guy off. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to take a sawzall and chop here, chop there. And then this whole piece will be missing. Um, and I'm going to re- Try and figure out what I want to do here, um, and then I'm probably going to end up putting, I'm going to end up fiberglassing this into here, I'm thinking. Um, so, that's a plausibility. That won't happen today, but just that's the plan. Um, and then, I'm also contemplating making a, a, the fuck could that be called? Like a duckbill spoiler? make one of those like a little across the back here um because i just think it'll help with like how it looks with this uh rear diffuser i think it'll just help um i don't know kind of bring because it's really aggressive at the bottom but then nothing up here so i feel like it'll kind of match down here i'm not gonna go too crazy i don't want no crazy like 12 foot or 12 inch one um so I just want something to give us a little bit of aggression there to, you know, kind of match up with that. Um, but, uh, yeah, and then that would get molded to the, to this part right here, and then it also get molded to uh, that little piece of deck that I'd put on. So, that's where we're at. So, I guess, uh, let's just get into it and... Cut this bad boy up. So there she is. Alright guys, so this is what's there. Alright, so I'm thinking we'll probably just cut her right along here. And then down to here. We'll get rid of all of that. Um, or maybe I'll try and save this one little guy here so that way this thing's pretty structural in this corner. We'll try that. We'll cut. On this side of this piece so yeah let's do that all right so it's cut we got this side so now I just got to unbolt these and then take it out so let's do that all right should be unbolted and boom there she is so this thing's uh, junk go ahead over here to the pile of What used to be part of my car? Oh, that thing looks really open now. So, yeah. So now I'm gonna I'll clean up these edges here. Get these things looking nice. Get that looking nice, and that should be good. Um, now, so one thing we will have to address is just because I don't have wheel wells in the back. Um, so we got to make sure that we weatherproof this stuff up really good. So we'll have to come in weatherproof around the wires. Um, that should be about it. Maybe come back around the lights again. Um, but otherwise, otherwise, I mean, these should be pretty good. But I might make, um, I was thinking of doing, uh, make a cover that comes across here and then down. And then I could make them bolt in right here, maybe. Um, but yeah. That's just kind of some ideas that I've had in my head. I mean, we'll see what happens, but yeah. So now let's get what I did done or said to get done. We'll get that done. Let's do that. All right, so this is what I ended up doing. So I grinded off this little piece down here, got this stuff all flat, and got rid of this little piece. Got this stuff nice and straight, as you can tell. So yeah, looks pretty good. Now let's do it to the side. All right, so I got the panel sitting in there. Um, so I'm thinking what we could do is utilize this screw hole and make up something that goes to here, holds in a plate, and then you just screw them on, or, you know, use nuts and bolt them on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that should do. 
I'm pretty sure that'll be a good thing. But I don't have... I have the plate to make these. These, like the plates to go into there. But I don't have any rod. So. But, uh, yeah. That's where we're at for right now. I don't know what else I'll be doing at at this moment. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let's uh, figure out what I do next. So another idea, if I don't want to make this permanent, because I kind of don't want to make that like piece permanent, because it's so big, and I, you know, I like having it open sometimes. So maybe I'll just do like these guys, and all these are just like you press the button and it releases. And there's like a little ball. So, but uh, yeah, and these should, I mean, these would hold that, and you just put two on the sides, basically like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. Kind of, kind of not sure what the plan is. Um, got to figure that out. Because I got a lot of work to do on that thing as is. But also, if I do the duck spoiler, then that also creates issues on this thing as well. Um, so I don't know if maybe, I don't even know. I mean, the duck spoiler will add rigidity to that, even though it's already pretty rigid on that edge. It needs to be more rigid on that side. But I can fix that, no problem. Um, jeez, man, I'm just trying to ponder here as to what the plan is. Um, but yeah. I guess uh, I won't ramble on and I'll think in my own. Ideas are always welcome, guys. Drop them in the comment section. Um... But, uh, yeah, I definitely don't want to use those guys to hold it on. It doesn't, I, I don't want to do that. Those are really big and gaudy. I'll be filling, taking those out, filling those holes. I got to fill all the holes on that stuff. Um, but, yeah, if I do a duck bill spoiler, <clears throat> I could have it either where it just doesn't attach to this. Or it's just all one piece and it kind of wraps around, basically what I just said. Or I could have it where it's two pieces, so it's removable. Uh, even though I can make it removable if it just goes all the way around the curve. It just gets a little bit, can't get as much of a finished look. <sighs> so hard. So many decisions to be made. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, that's where we're at. So I think I'm going to start on making the exhaust. So I've already cut this off like a little piece we had laying around off the old Talon's exhaust. I just need to see if I can find another V-band, or if I have to reuse that one. So, let's see if I can find a V-band. Alright, looks like I had to chop off the old one. So, there it is, dead. So now, let's get this thing welded. I just marked it, so let's weld it. Alright, so here's where we're at. We got this. Now we need to make it do a 90 to go this way. So I just tacked on this little guy. We cut that off of uh, Paul's old fender dump exhaust. So, yeah. That looks pretty good. Um, we got to make sure we leave room for that Magna Flow. But uh, yeah, so let's uh, weld this up. Alright, so here's what we got, guys. So this comes down, little 90, bloop. And here, uh, I still got to decide what I want to do. So I could either do a 90 down and just dump it in here. You want to know? Or I could, yeah, I don't really want to bring the exhaust down into there. Um, or I could just do it straight out the, the fender here. Um, yeah, decisions to make. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's where it's at. And that's probably where I'm going to end this one. Because it's starting to get chilly again because the sun's going down. So, yeah, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. All right, so I have some of this stuff right here. Uh, eBay special. Uh, I think it's, these rolls are, it's a one inch wide roll by 50 feet. There's two of them in there. And I got some of these. I'm gonna try using these. Usually we use like uh, hose clamps, but I don't have any hose clamps. So this is what I'm gonna try. I've had luck with them before. Um, usually I just like, put them through and then twist them over with uh, some like needle nose with some like needle nose and you like stick them in there and you twist them so we'll do that 
Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try and get the wastegate and the tur like the, the turbo piece uh, wrapped. So I'm gonna try and be lazy and not remove it, but I'll probably end up having to remove it. So, but uh, yeah, so let's uh, get this start getting this stuff wrapped. So. So here's the, the four. So we gotta wrap this, this, and then the runners down. And then obviously to there and there. So yeah, let's uh, do that. Yeah, all right, so we got this one. So I ended up wrapping this and then wrapping this section. That goes down into there. So, and then I might end up replacing those with clamps eventually because these the bigger ones suck the little ones i've had luck with but these bigger ones suck but uh yeah so let's uh go about getting this one wrapped now so we got this one done and then we got this side done i mean it's really hard to get to like this spot i think we got like one right here where it tees off and this one was particularly hard because of the support i had welded in but otherwise it looks pretty good i did find um some of the little ones and i usually do the two just because they are not the greatest um i'll i cut them short and then i'll uh bend these guys backwards um just so that way they can't really come undone i mean they stay pretty good but they do have some like a little bit of give to them and then i wrap this little bit um i might actually just leave it open like that i'm not too sure we'll see it looks kind of neat so um but yeah so the only one we have left to do is that one so that one we do have to take off so that means i probably won't be doing it plus i just finished up i had that much left so i used probably uh, about 40 feet to do that little bit so but yeah and then we will also have to do this one but i can't do this one until I put in an O2 bung. I'll probably put an O2 bung like down here somewhere. Um, Cause you don't want it to be, I think you, you don't want it to be pretty much as straight as possible. So probably right around here will be where that ends up being. And then still got to figure out that. But uh, yeah, I think once this video goes live, maybe I'll ask cause I'm not in a really big hurry unless I end up coming with a better idea or something. Then I might just send it, but uh, yeah short little video on doing that stuff um when you go to start it out use like one of these clamps or whatever and put it around it right here and then you just kind of wrap her up i would recommend gloves i don't always wear gloves obviously it doesn't even matter because they break open but uh yeah and sometimes wetting it it's too cold to be wetting crap so i didn't worry about that but uh yeah that's that not like you guys are coming here for how-tos because I'm not very good at the how-tos. Just like showing my progress. But uh, yeah, enough rambling on. You guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.